Hey, welcome to the Business Blueprint, where we will discuss the Lofi Girl Madness. Today, I want to introduce you to what's possible out there and how you can brainstorm and be crazy. What do you think about when you think of being a YouTuber? I will tell you what I think. A guy or girl using a camera and creating content. Can be documentaries, can be commentary, can be dance, can be games, endless options. But today, I want to introduce you to the Lofi Girl. They have decided something crazy. They didn't want to do a lot of work on YouTube. They didn't want to show their face. They wanted to focus on live videos, animation and that's it. And they ended up creating this channel. Do you know the subcategory they found? Creating music-based YT channels that will play calming music while you study or work. That's it. Every day. They used to do a live which was basically music playing for one plus hour on their YouTube channel. And that's it. They made millions. Hundreds of thousands of people kept this on while they worked, while they studied. Nobody knew who the owner of this channel is and they ended up creating a huge brand. Once they had the brand recognition, they created Lofi Records to produce their own music. They hired musicians, initially online on places like Fiverr.com, and paid them a very small fee to create music. Nothing amazing, no voice, just music. And it worked. Lofi then went to Spotify, went to Discord, went to Reddit, created their own community of people who are interested in listening to music while working or study. Sounds crazy, right? Yes, it is crazy and it is different. That's what I love about the Lofi case study. It doesn't directly give us a business idea like our previous videos, but it tells us something a lot more important. You can recreate and reinvent new things in an existing marketplace without creating your own solution. Thinking about creating a dating app. Thinking about creating a paid community to talk about Bitcoin. Why not use meetup.com instead of creating your own? Use a common or used platform. Put a crazy idea on top of it, and the chance of you succeeding is not bad at all. This strategy is fun because most of your time will be spent on thinking about what ideas might work and then testing those. Unlike the traditional route, you won't spend a lot of time thinking about product market fit, thinking about creating the brand, thinking about creating website, app, all those jaws. It makes things more fun. So I wanted to share this approach with you. There are hundreds of opportunities out there. You just need to do two things. One, find interesting ideas. Two, work to implement and test it, imagining planning, strategy, etc. that doesn't fall under work. Only tangible things that I can see will be considered work. That's it really. Hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.